What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NFL Week 5, Thursday Night Football. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. Okay, in this video, I'm going to give you my top picks for the Thursday Night Football Showdown between the Indianapolis Colts and the Denver Broncos. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, NFL week five. Let's take a look at this Thursday night football showdown between the Indianapolis Colts and the Denver Broncos. So at the quarterback position, I like Russell Wilson from the Denver Broncos playing the Indianapolis Colts who have a middle of the pack defense overall. They're middle of the pack defending opposing quarterbacks. Russell Wilson has averaged 17.4 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 3.3 rush attempts per game. And he's going to be about 69% owned. Projected at 19 fantasy points here tonight. He's 10,400 DraftKings salary. Vegas thinks there's going to be 42 points scored in this game. With the Broncos favored by three and a half. Now Russell Wilson, he broke out for 28 fantasy points last game. He got four rush attempts. He even had a pass target. So I like Russell Wilson here versus the Indianapolis Colts. Okay, let's take a look at the running back position. So let's just start out with the Indianapolis Colts running backs. Jonathan Taylor is out. So that opens the door for a guy like Naheem Hines from the Indianapolis Colts. And Naheem Hines has averaged 7.4 fantasy points per game on the season getting an average of two rush attempts per game and 4.8 pass targets per game. I expect that volume to go up quite a bit now that Jonathan Taylor is out. And Naheem Hines is going to be about 51% owned, projected at 13.5 fantasy points here tonight. He's 6,800 DraftKings salary. So I like Naheem Hines here versus the Denver Broncos. Okay, for the Broncos, the stud on the slate is Melvin Gordon. And Melvin Gordon has averaged 7.7 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 9.3 rush attempts per game and 2.5 pass targets per game. Now, Melvin Gordon gonna be about 48% owned Projected at 13.2 fantasy points here tonight. He's 8,800 DraftKings salary. Now, Melvin Gordon didn't score any fantasy points last game. Only had three rush attempts and one pass target. But he scored 17 fantasy points the game before that. Off of 12 rush attempts and six pass targets. I like Melvin Gordon here versus the Indianapolis Colts. Now the other running back you can look to for the Denver Broncos is Latavius Murray. He was recently signed by the Broncos and he got some action last game. He scored 14 fantasy points off of 11 rush attempts and one pass target. Now he's only 5,200 DraftKings salary. So I like Latavius Murray here versus the Indianapolis Colts. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $25 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won. And we'll send you $25 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Okay, let's take a look at the wide receiver position. So I like Cortland Sutton 
from the Denver Broncos. Cortland Sutton has averaged 17 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 8.8 .8 pass targets per game. He's been on the field for 92% of the snaps, gonna be about 59% owned, projected at 15.1 fantasy points here tonight. And Cortland Sutton is 9,400 DraftKings salary. He scored 16, 18, and 23 fantasy points in the last three games off of 7, 10, and 11 pass targets. So I think Cortland Sutton makes a good captain here tonight. So I like Cortland Sutton here versus the Indianapolis Colts. Now the other stud on the slate for the Indianapolis Colts is Michael Pittman Jr., but he is pretty expensive. He's coming in at 10,600 DraftKings salary, and he only scored six fantasy points off of six pass targets last game, 15 fantasy points off of nine pass targets the game before that. Now he is averaging 17.1 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 9.3 pass targets per game. He's gonna be about 49% owned, projected at 14.6 fantasy points here tonight. He's 10,600 DraftKings salary. Now it's a, it's a single game slate here, so you gotta consider Michael Pittman Jr. But I would prefer to have a guy like Cortland Sutton in my lineup over Michael Pittman Jr. Uh, I don't want to pay an extra 1200 for Michael Pittman Jr., but it's a single game slate, so you got to consider him. So I like Michael Pittman Jr. as an option here versus the Denver Broncos. Real quick, guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. Our NBA tools are awesome. This is a great time to get in and try everything for one month. The tools are all about saving research time. You can see the last three games, the fantasy points per game, the targets they got per game, so you can see how involved they are in the offense, the rushes they got per game. Seeing all this stuff on one screen helps you save time and make better picks. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Now going back to these Denver wide receivers, probably my favorite play on the slate when you factor in the volume, his production, and the price tag, I like Jerry Judy. Jerry Judy has averaged 11.1 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 5.3 pass targets per game. He's gonna be about 50% owned, projected at 13.5 fantasy points here tonight. He's 7,800 DraftKings salary. Now Jerry Judy scored 15 fantasy points last game off of five pass targets. So I like Jerry Judy here versus the Indianapolis Colts. Now going back to the Colts wide receivers, although I'm not a big fan of Michael Pittman Jr. here tonight. Now guys, absolutely Michael Pittman Jr. could go off, but I am gonna fade Michael Pittman Jr. because I prefer to save some salary at the wide receiver position and go with a guy like Alec Pierce, who's averaging seven fantasy points per game on the season getting an average of 4.3 fantasy points, uh, 4.3 pass targets per game. He's gonna be about 13% owned, projected at 7.2 fantasy points here tonight. He's only 5,400 DraftKings salary. He scored 12 and nine fantasy points in the last two games off of six and five pass targets. So I like Alec Pierce here versus the Denver Broncos. Now, if you want to save even more salary here at the wide receiver position, take a look at Paris Campbell from the Indianapolis Colts, and he's averaging 4.5 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of three pass targets per game. He's been on the field for 77% of the snaps, going to be about 13% owned, projected at 5.4 fantasy points here tonight. 
So Paris Campbell is 3,600 DraftKings salary. He scored eight and three fantasy points the past two games off of four and two pass targets. So I think he's a good low salary option to save some salary in your lineup. A guy that should get between three and four pass targets here tonight. So I like Paris Campbell here versus the Denver Broncos. Okay, moving on to the tight end position. For the Indianapolis Colts, you have Mo Alley Cox. He's averaging 8.7 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 3.5 pass targets per game. He's been on the field for 59% of the snaps, gonna be about 10% owned, projected at 5.8 fantasy points here tonight. He's 4,800 DraftKings salary. So Mo Ali Cox, he went off for 27 fantasy points last game off of six pass targets. So I like Mo Ali Cox here versus the Denver Broncos. Now, if you're looking for a high risk, high reward option here, super low salary, take a look at Eric Saubert from the Denver Broncos averaging 3.2 fantasy points per game on the season getting an average of 1.5 pass targets per game he's been on the field for 45 percent of the snaps gonna be about 10 percent owned he's projected at 3.3 fantasy points here tonight now eric Saubert, he scored four fantasy points last game got two pass targets so this is a guy that could see one to three pass targets so if he catches a ball in the end zone or breaks one for a long run, he's only 1,200 DraftKings salary. Going to open up that, open up the options at all your other positions. So I like Eric Saubert as a low salary, high risk, high reward option here versus the Indianapolis Colts. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NFL slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.